So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here we're on Norton's stand at Motorcycle Live. As I'm sure you're aware, Norton has been acquired by the Indian company TVS. They've built a new factory facility in the West Midlands where they're going to produce a couple of new bikes. You've got the V4 SV and the V4 CR. One is a cafe racer style and the other one a fully blown superbike. On their website, not much information is given other than the specs of the bike a little bit and also no pricing has been given just yet. But I'm sure these bikes are going to come in at a very premium price. My general thoughts on sport bikes is that they're a little bit of a dying breed recently with naked bikes being the most popular followed by adventure and then sport touring bikes. So they're pretty much the bottom of the pile so I'm not sure how successful they're going to be. I do wish them well and it's great to see Norton back. So first we take a look at the V4 SV. This is a 185 brake horsepower superbike. Uh, it's got all of the regular bling as you'd expect probably for the price that's going to be very high being Olings, Brembo and all the good quality components. Looks like it's got a nice polished alloy frame. Very exotic. Just look at the seat stitching and the detail on this machine. Uh, very beautiful, but like I say, at what cost? The next one we look at is the V4CR. This is their take on a modern cafe racer. Not sure about the orange seat, but the rest of the bike and the components look really, really nice. So I'm not sure how popular these bikes will be. Uh, a lot of the cafe racer style bikes tend to be uh, more older looking, like the Triumphs and the Royal Enfields. And now you've got the SA also coming back to the market in 2022. So it looks like there's going to be different variants. You can see here like a full carbon version in black. Really, really nice looking. So that's a brief glance at the Norton stand at Motorcycle Live. Obviously it's early days for the company, but yet again I do wish them really, really well for the future. I hope things come back for them and they can have a successful time with these motorcycles and the new facility in Birmingham. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, then hit that subscribe button, ding that bell for future videos coming up, and we'll catch you on another one soon, guys. Cheers.